Hey. Okay, we're live. Yay. I'm so I glad you're it. here. Yes. I love how we're like both starting each other's sentences. <laughs> this is kind of the, the energy that we've um, been rocking with for about a year and like four months, but um, really feels like the work that I've done with you, Macy, um, has has and will last me a lifetime. I love it. Well, that's why we're here. We want to share a little bit about what it's like to be in a coaching program, specifically our super loved community where we're focusing on getting past any of the barriers, the anxieties, the fears, the, the beliefs that keep us from being able to step forward in our love life. And I know for you, it's been all areas of your life. So let's just start with sharing a little bit about yourself and what it was that brought you to seek out coaching like this. Yeah, so I would say, so first of all, I'm Ariam. And I currently live in Arlington, Virginia, originally from the Bronx. So um, this is a this is a new uh, new lifestyle, sort of new pacing of life out here. Um, but I would say that I've been, you know, a conscious person all of my life. I kind of always felt like I was a bit different, and I just had like a greater appetite for, for more. And, you know, something that I've learned working with you, Macy, and doing like some supplemental personal development work is that life is always going to cause us to ask for more. And so, you know, I was in a time in my life where I didn't feel like I was, I was having like the best experience you know, when I first started working with you, I was living in Tbilisi, Georgia. So I had graduated with a master's in engagement journalism at the Craig Newmark Graduate School of Journalism in New York City in late 2019, and then quickly moved overseas right at the start of the pandemic. Um, so I went into lockdown. I had you know, even though I had this new job, I did go into lockdown. So it really was a matter of like, there's a lot of questions around where I was going to live, how I was going to eat, how I was going to pay my bills. I mean, people in Georgia use like machines, like street machines to pay their bills. Um, Georgian is like the main language, which I, you know, didn't speak. And this was like my first full-time job outside of grad school. And so um, it was just a whirlwind. Um, I was thousands of miles away from home. And so I was really craving community. And um, I found that with you and the super, super loved community. Um, so yeah, ever since working with you, I've moved back to the States. And... Um, I'm on my way to another full-time job. Actually, this is going to be the first full-time job that I've had in more than a year and a half. So I, I feel like God is basically allowing me to start over. And um, this definitely feels like, you know, a new beginning. Yeah, definitely. Well, you've grown so much. Tell me about what you were experiencing relationship wise before we started working together. Cause I know that that wasn't necessarily easy either. Like what were you experiencing? No, it, yeah, it wasn't easy. I mean, even, even for myself, someone who is open, someone who would move halfway around the world, you know, it's not always easy to put yourself out there. And, I not only was not only had I moved to Georgia for work, but I was always but I was also open to co-creating community and, you know, love um, in all forms. And so, you know, within 
I think it was my second or third day. Like I was still in the hotel, basically. Um, I had downloaded Tinder on my phone and I just started matching with people instantly. And I had secured three dates over three consecutive days. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I was like, okay, this is so me, you know, just diving myself into this new culture, saying yes to this new job, um, joining an app. Like I didn't even know that Tinder existed overseas. I thought that was mostly like a US um, based app and um, Tinder also, there's like a lot of, like it has a reputation. And I do feel like online dating itself even though it's become a lot normalized during the pandemic, there's still some stigma around, even though it's been around for decades. So yeah, I was connecting with people, but I just didn't feel like those connections were soul aligned per se. I didn't feel like I was really um, liking the people. Like I, it kind of felt like I was just doing it just to do it. And so um it was good practice, but you know, it wasn't really fulfilling. And so I, I was frustrated. I was alone and I'm okay with being alone, but the loneliness, um, got, you know, got pretty heavy and it, and it just compounded as time progressed. And so this was, you know, from March, 2020 up until I started working with you, which was October of that year. And that's when I started, um, experiencing some shifts in that space. Yeah, well, let's talk about that. Like, what would you say you noticed you went from here to here? Like, what changed for you when it comes well, to think, relationships and maybe even anything emotionally attached to that? Well, I know that I was creating a lot of stories in my head and I was ruminating about past relationships and that sort of became the focus. And at the time I didn't have the language for it. So now I have the language through working with you. I know that I was creating a story, a story that felt heavy. And something that you say a lot, Macy, is that if it's, if something that we're, if we're experiencing something that's heavy, it's probably a lie. Um, yes. Yeah. So I, you know, I was telling myself that, um, you know, I, I can only be in short-term relationships. If you remember that, like, um, <laughs> I always to myself, you know, like, I, I had even described an experience with you as a fling, and you were like, "Oh, that sounds like it was just a romantic summer. Like that was your summer romance." And I think the shift came from like the new perspective, the even like the shift in language, how I was talk describing my own relationships. Um, because I feel like for most of my life, I've been very like, um, very closed in talking about my relationships. Like generally open with like career and community and my love for travel and culture, but very closed off when it comes to relationships. And so I even had shared with you, um, Macy, during one of our first sessions that during high school, where my friends, my best friends were my world, all of them were in relationships. And, you know, not everyone considers like having a boyfriend at 15, like a relationship, but I did feel left out. And so I started to own some of my stuff, I started to own some of um, the narrative that I was creating around previous relationships. And I just started to reclaim myself in, in stating that, you know, what I want is something that is loving and warm and soulful and committed. Yes, I love that. Yeah, that's such a different energy, isn't it? Yeah. So what would you say some of the um, most like, are there, I mean, specifically in super love, we have a lot of different tools that we use and practices. Um, 
do you want to share anything about your experience with coaching itself? Like how that was for you? Yeah. Like what so it brought you? I'm one of those people that like, if I'm committed to a program, I'm going to be at every call, every workshop. I'm always going to be on the lives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always going to be like putting in my two cents or just like saying hello to, um, you know, a fellow conscious believer. And so I was really active, you know, I would say that over the course of a year, uh, probably 13 months, um, that I've spent about 25 to 30 hours of personal coaching sessions with Macy. And that also included the, the three starter RIM sessions, um, mm -hmm. which stands for generating images and memory. And Macy is fabulous at that. She's trained at that. And so um, I also attended more than 170 live classes on Facebook. Um, and so, you know, Macy, that, is through like your 30 day um, courses, your 20 day courses, your 21 day courses, your, your five day courses, love camp. Um, during my first love camp, I volunteered to be a DJ for our party. Um, and so just showing up was, I would say sort of like the key um, formula for success for me. Um, but also showing up in a way that allowed me to also hear from my peers in the program. And um, I mean, there's so many tools, like I can talk about these tools for days, but some of my favorite tools that I love, of course, is like, how does it get any better than this? Um, what will it take for this to be easy? Mm, is this the answer that I've been asking for showing up in a different way? Um, it's either this or something better. And, you know, one last one, because I don't want to share all of like amazing <laughs> secrets here, but um, what worry am I using that is keeping me from choosing? Yes, these are a lot of the access consciousness tools that we incorporate in. And yeah, that plus the regenerating images and memory work, I think is where we really kind of move things out of the way. And then being in the community, and it's true, like you can, you could spend hours if you want or not, you know, there's stuff going on all the time. So it is powerful in how that stuff can help you change your habits, really. I mean, to me, the reason why I do that is to give people a chance to live in a different way for long enough that it becomes automatic. And you are a good um, example of that occurring because you don't have to look at notes to know that these tools are popping into your head. And that's what I love about what I've seen you receive from all this. So tell us what's been a result for you. So since you've been in this, this community, tell us about your relationship space, like what you have now and anything else that you want to share about your creations as a result of being here? Yes. Yeah, so um, uh, there has been, you know, a tremendous progress um, that I've experienced. And, you know, I get to share that, you know, I get to um, unabashedly say, hey, this is where I am in my life right now. So I would say that I have greater confidence with dating. I would say that I am less judgmental of the people that I date as well, because there is no rightness or wrongness. There's only choice. And so, um, and I know this sounds like very high in the sky, but it actually is something that takes time. And that's why I, you know, would encourage anyone to enroll 
themselves in the super love program or really just come to some of the classes you know get a feel for macy's energies and her teaching with some of the the products that she offers including the love attraction toolkit which i call the gift that keeps on giving but um <laughs> great confidence with dating like i feel like i can I can walk up to any person and start a conversation. And, um, you know, I've tried multiple dating apps. Like I've experimented with dating apps. So I am speaking from personal experience here. And I would say um, like the act technique of like acknowledging um, an individual, connecting with them in some way, like finding a com commonality, expressing that to them and then throwing a question has just worked for me overall. That's given me a lot of confidence in connecting with people. And so I feel like I connect with people with ease. Um, I would also share that I, you know, have just been um, offered a full-time position and like career came up a lot in my work with Macy. Yes, love was the driving force of our work together, but career, I would say, was sort of always in the background. And so I would use like some of the tools that I mentioned, everything is always working out for me, or it's this or something better. Like that would come up a lot when connecting with prospective employers and even with, um, you know, um, incorporating my own freelance business. Um, so I would say, you know, greater confidence with dating has, um, been an outcome of my, uh, work and dedication to the super love program, as well as this, you know, this full-time job, as well as yes. back to the U S right. Hitting the reset button, you know, co-creating with people, um, and I am currently dating someone as well. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> he was like, are you going to say it? Yeah. Oh, yes, cool. yes, yeah. Yeah. So you, you're you dating someone and you just landed an amazing job. Yes, an amazing job that was like a year and a half in the works. So yeah. I feel like I'm in this space of like relationship expansion. Um, I mean, I also have like a really good relationship with my mornings, like a very powerful relationship with my mornings. So um, I would encourage anyone to just be open to the experience and not necessarily go into this thinking, oh yeah, you know, I, I would love to get married tomorrow. Cause I mean, I would love to get married tomorrow too. But something that he <laughs> says is like, it takes time to get to know someone. And, um, you know, you get to make a choice too, if something isn't working for you. And I've also manifested other relationships, you know, over the, the year or so that we've been working together as well. I mean, I did meet someone in Georgia um, we separated because, you know, I moved back to the States, but that was, you know, the most romantic, um, and charming few weeks of my life. And also just being, you know, detached from these experiences or like embracing them, but not necessarily, um, creating a story around, you know, this needs to continue, or it didn't mean anything like, you know, I, I think that I learned my lesson <laughs> for doing, you know, doing that, telling that story um, earlier in my 20s. And so, yeah, I'm I'm a lot more detached. I'm a lot more easygoing. And I have a lot more ease in my life. So I would say that those are some of the outcomes. Um, yeah, I love it. It's so great. So what would you say? And congratulations. I mean, you've done so many things. I mean, your your decision when we were working together and you were talking about wanting to come back to the U.S. and the steps that 
you know, you took and just the energy that we were playing with, with that. And you basically made that happen. Like it was traveling across town. I mean, that was just remarkable, I will say. And it's part, it's your willingness to try new ways of being that gave you that. So I'll celebrate you for having made all of the choices that you made in Super Loved in this program and trying on some new tools. What would you say to someone who is out there and they're tired of having the same relationship disappointment over and over again and are considering coaching but aren't sure what to do? Yeah. So um, you know, I think that first of all, everyone is worthy of having the relationship of their dreams. Um, because time and time again, we have seen, we have heard, we have experienced, we have felt, um, the expansiveness, the, the quality of our life drastically improves when we have, you know, our soul aligned relationships. And when we have um, really solid uh, foundational relationships with everyone. Like, like you could have the greatest love with everyone. Like you can receive love from everything. But, you know, specific to your question, Macy, I think that, um, you know, just realizing that you're worthy and deserving of your dreams. Yeah. And, and just claiming that is, I would say, is the first step. Like, it's not about you know, what your parents are telling you. It's not about what you see your friends doing. It's not about what your sister is doing or what your exes are doing. It's about what you want. So if this is what you want, you get to make a choice for it. And there are so many people who um, invest in, you know, personal finance coaching and career coaching and all in like language coaching, like, I mean, there's coaching for every sort of skill. So if relationship is the foundation, you know, why can't that be a part of your experience and a part of your world also? And one thing that I admire and respect about Macy is that not only is she passionate about the work that she does, and you can see that through the creativity that shines through in her courses. Um, but there's also, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, Macy also doesn't um, ascribe to rules. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that I forgot. Like, yeah, let it be known. This is like a no rules community. Like, judgment free, no rules. Like, you get to be the creator of your reality type stuff. Like, um, no one is going to spank you on the hand for, um, wanting any sort of relationship really, um, tr be it traditional or not traditional. So yeah, I love that, um, you know, this program gets to be accessible to anyone. I mean, even, even if like super loved, even if you decide that super loved is not, you know, the best fit for you. Macy is always creating. So there's always like a 20 day, a 30 day, like I said, 14 day, five day. There's, um, you know, tools on Macy's websites. There's, um, you know, regenerating images and memory. And that was sort of my entry point into, um, you know, officially joining the super love community. So there's, and Macy also appears on a lot of local media and podcasts as, as well and national media too. So there's, there are resources that are accessible to you, but this is something that you get to choose for yourself. And, you know, I think that that's an important conversation to have um, before you take any step. Yay. Well, thank you so much for sharing. I've always, I just love having you in the community and I've loved working with you and meeting you. And I already see a future where you and your little little ones come to visit me in the senior center, right? So you're going to bring me like, you know, snacks and stuff. Um, so anyway, 
I love you. Thank you for sharing this because I know there's a lot of people out there who can get a lot of value from just knowing what an experience like this can be because it is different for everyone. And my goal is that you get to expand into your destiny, your heart's desire and all that you want to create. And it does start with relationship. I mean, it's relationship to yourself, it's relationship to your body, the world, to money and everything. And you've blown past all the barriers of money, love, dating, you know, everything. I mean, it's so great. So, so thanks for being here. Thanks for listening, everyone. And if you, I'm sure there's a link somewhere where you can check out or reach out to me and we'll have a conversation and see what's, what's possible for you in creating your love life and your dreams. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Macy. I love you as well. And if you're watching this, you know, please don't hesitate to reach out to Macy. She's one of the coolest um, most down to earth individuals that you will ever meet. So much love from here in Northern Virginia. Bye, everyone. Bye.